what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are uh, feeling good. So, you guys, we're back here with a new video, guys. My name is Divina. Welcome to the That's first right. round. Today, we will be reacting. So, why is the Quran in Arabic? Wonders of the Quran. This is about four sentences out. I'm going to check it out with you guys. You know how to do it? So, let's get into this video. Yeah, let's get into this video. There's a saying that there are 1,000 words for camel in Arabic, and actually, that wouldn't be far from the truth. Arabic is an incredibly rich and precise language. Linguists describe it as the best language to express deep topics in just a few words. It is highly complex and is referred to as the most eloquent of all languages. To give you an idea, there are more than 12 million Arabic words compared to about 500,000 in English. A camel in Arabic is Jemal. How can there be so many different words for a camel? Here is a list of some examples. Look at how much description each name carries. For example, a nahus is a female camel that doesn't allow itself to be milked, or an ash'al, which is a white camel that has a different coloured tail. Instead of using more words to add description, Arabic words contain many descriptions and meanings within. In Arabic, there are more than 10 different variations for love. You don't just say, I love this or I love that, there are different types of love. For example, Mawadda is a strong type of love. It is a love of tenderness and compassion, to the point where you would sacrifice something from yourself for the happiness of the other. Can you see how just one word captures such a deep description? The Islamic greeting, Assalamu Alaikum, isn't just the Arabic way of saying hello. The apparent translation is peace be upon you, but even that isn't accurate enough. Whenever anyone says Assalamu Alaikum, it actually means may Allah's peace be with you, may he grant you prosperity, may he grant you wholeness and completeness, may you lack nothing and have everything you need to be successful. All of that in two words. Is it therefore a surprise that Allah chose such a deep, descriptive and direct language to convey his words to humanity? People, they try to convince us that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would have wanted, he could have revealed the Quran in another language. And this is not true. Quran has been revealed in Arabic for a reason and it's because it was the only language which is rich enough to tell us what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala means and what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to say. Ancient Arabic is far more sophisticated, far more advanced, far more complex, far more intricate, far more involved than proper modern standard Arabic. 1400 years ago, Arabs were at the pinnacle of the Arabic language. They could naturally speak in poetry like me and you can speak in a normal conversation. Just like the media controls the world today, language controlled Arab society before Islam. One speech had the power to humiliate tribes for generations. Before Islam, they would call anyone that was non-Arab Ajam, which literally meant silent and speechless. Why? Because no other language was as alive. To them, their language equaled life. When they heard the Quran for the first time, these same people that had so much pride and expertise were completely shocked and mesmerized. Some froze in their places, some started shaking, some went pale in the face, and some even cried. They didn't know how to respond. The eloquence of the Quran was simply on another level. You see, the Arabs had mastered all types of rhetoric, all types of linguistic devices. They had an entire discipline of different types of poetry. 
They had different what is called awzan, which means, which means meters and rhymes. They had different styles. They had different rhetoric devices. The Quran comes and it is simply unclassifiable in any one of these pigeonholes. You know, recently, last year in England, they discovered a manuscript that was claimed to be Shakespeare. Everybody got excited. Oh my God, a new manuscript of Shakespeare. And all the Shakespeare experts in the world came and they studied and they studied and they studied. And then they finally concluded, no, it's not. It was a false alarm. How do you know? Oh, because the style is not the style of Shakespeare. What does that show us? Shakespeare, no matter how eloquent he is, he has one style and you recognize it. Guess what? What is the style of the Quran? You cannot classify it. You cannot classify it. It is beyond human categorization. Each surah, each verse is unique. Its rhythm is clear, it's resounding, but it is not classifiable. There are many verses in the Quran that explain why it came down in Arabic. Of them is chapter 26, verse 195, where Allah says that it was revealed in perfect and eloquent Arabic so that it may be clear. The word Mubin in this verse literally means that which clarifies, leaving no room for doubts. Let me show you an example of this clarity from the Quran. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen is a verse all Muslims know and recite from chapter 1. The apparent translation of these four words is all praise is due to Allah, Lord of the Worlds. This is far from complete. Look at how much reading we have to do to get a more accurate translation. If four Arabic words carry this much depth and explanation, imagine how many more pages of the Quran would be if it was in English. In fact, there are countless books that dig deeper into a fuller interpretation of the Quran, such as Tafsir ibn Kathir or Tafsir al-Tabari. Saying that, the best way to bring the Qur'an to life is to understand the language. This is why you find many new Muslims and non-Arabs studying Arabic. Think about it, the Qur'an came down in one of the most deep, complex and eloquent languages 1400 years ago to a man that never took part in any form of poetry. Not only did the Qur'an take eloquence to a whole new level, ever since, no Arabic literature has come close to challenging the power and style of the Qur'an, even after all these years. Isn't this a miracle? Please subscribe to never miss an episode of The Wonders of the Qur'an. This is nice. This is really, really cool. Um, Sometimes I wonder, like, when I was little, I was in the boarding house. So a friend of mine came, like, he, he is a Muslim. So he brought the Quran. That was my first day of me seeing the Quran, like, so. So he brought it. Then when I, I didn't I touch the book. Like, he was with it, then he flipped it. Then I was like, in my mind, I was just wondering, like, how is this guy able to understand such? Like, how is he? Because the writing was not in English, so yeah. I was like, how is he able to understand this? Was the language I was seeing different? Like, what is this? What is this? What is this? I was like, wow, I did it baffles me. And I was like, wow, I was just I was impressed. Like, he's able to understand such writings, and then when I started growing up, I was observing people reciting it, uh, understanding it. I was like, wow. It's, it's 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 amazing. It's really amazing, and I would love to learn Arabic for myself. Like the, the languages I want to learn, um, I want to learn Spanish, um, Arabic, and um, I'm English. I'm not even perfect. <laughs> that is it. We're, we're learning every day, so the language I want to learn. So Arabic itself, it's it's really really deep. You see, there's a thousand words for camel. Yeah. So those few letters can bring a lot of definitions and, and it's nice. Um, we're learning every day and I like how the book itself has been preserved for thousands of years. Um, the language itself, it's still preserved and people are trying to learn more. 
for me. It's, um, it's, it's really nice. It's, it's really nice. There's a lady who I know, um, her children, they are all um, Muslims. So she, I see them going to lane, like they will go study, they will see them going, uh, yeah, yeah, go. they will go and study. It's not, they're not going to school, but they're going to like a private class to learn more about the Quran, um, Arabic and stuff like that. I was like, wow. And they are very, 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 very serious. Like I see them carry the bag, like really, really, they take it very, very seriously. And I love the dedication, how they're, they're really intrigued to learn. Do that is not like their um, country language, but mm. they want to like know more. They want to be able to read it, and that is really really nice. Uh, I'm glad this person came about and explained the um, Quran. And it's really nice. And this um, according to the explanation, uh, said God made it to make it more clarify, um, more explanatory, and so people will not have any doubts that there is um, missing words or stuff like that. So it's it's nice checking out this video. What do you think? It was very beautiful and interesting. I love the fact that he explained it in detail. You see, um, the Arabic language is a very deep and a very unique language. So them preserving the Quran in it is a very good thing because for a thousand years to come, it's still going to be in the same form it was made. And I love the explanation. Um, God has his reason for asking us to preserve it in the same land that we can be to. And I just love the perseverance of the Muslims because they keep learning the language so they can understand what the Quran has for them. Because it's not easy to learn a different language. I know it's more easy for a very young age though, but uh, there are some people that converted at, a, at an older age, so it's not very easy for them, but still they persevere to learn it, which means they are very determined to know more about the Quran, know more about the religion they're following. I love this explanation. So, so guys, comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up, share this video as many as can. Subscribe to the channel, guys. You know how it is. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay. I just bought a bag, like an old lady I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers Pass that 808, that don't, don't shake her Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitches in my bed, I got scales